Hey guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the Winter Games Spectacular Wonderland. The Harbin International Ice and Snow is an annual winter festival that takes place with a theme in Harbin, China and now is the biggest ice and snow festival in the world. At first, participants in the festival were mainly Chinese. However, it has since become an international festival and competition with the 2018 festival attracting 18 million visitors and generating 28.7 billion yuan of revenue. The festival starts on January 5th and lasts till late February. However, exhibits are often open earlier and stay longer where the permanent. The festival originated in Harbin's traditional ice tank and show and garden party that takes place in winter which began in 1963. It was interrupted for a number of years during the Cultural Revolution but has since been resumed when an annual event at Zalene Park was announced on January 5, 1985. In 2001, the Harbin Ice Festival was merged with the Chinese International Ski Festival and got its new formal name, the Harbin International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival. featured a Canadian themed sculpture in the memory of a Canadian doctor, Norman Bethew. It was awarded a Guinness record for the world's largest snow sculpture, 250 meters long, 28 feet high, using over 13,000 cubic meters of snow. The composition consisted of two parts, the Niagara Falls and the crossing of Bering Strait the latter depicting the migration of the First Nations. Construction Swing saws are used to carve ice into blocks taken from the frozen surface of the Songhua River. Chisels, ice picks and various types of saws are then used by the ice sculptors to carve out large-scaled ice sculptures, many of them intricately designed and worked on all day and night prior to the commencement of the festival. Water can also be used, producing ice blocks as transparent as gloves to make clear sculptures rather than translucent ones. Multicolored lights are also used to give color to ice, creating variations on sculpted spectacles when lit up, especially at night. Some ice sculptures made in previous years include buildings and monuments of different architectural types, figures including animals, people, and mythical creatures, slippery dips of ice slides and lanterns. Apart from the winter recreational activities available,